Why are countries like China and India not dominating the world stage when it comes to football? Both countries have populations close to 1.4 billion people. That's over one third of the world's total population. When comparing this to Iceland, for example, who got to the Euros in 2016 with a population of 330,000, you have to ask yourself, why aren't they doing better? To put that into context, both countries have around 4,117 times the population of Iceland. The first reason could be down to the culture. Countries like China, India, Pakistan, and Indonesia haven't had the same exposure to football as Western countries over the past few years. Football has been the primary sport in Europe and in Southern America for the last few decades, whereas India's sporting priorities lean towards cricket and China towards basketball. And this has done a few important factors into why these countries aren't dominating. Firstly, European and Southern American kids have had the opportunity of growing up and seeing sporting icons make it in football. They have role models to aspire to be like, and they can see firsthand achievements of people of where they're from in the game of football. China, for example, have had this, but in other sports, such as gymnastics, ping pong, and basketball. There's no Yao Ming of China in football as of yet. And this carries on into how much funding is put in to grassroots football and the infrastructure in these nations. This is changing. However, at every level, the availability of parks and green spaces are non-existent. This means that local teams are few and far between and commuting into the city with populations the size of these countries can be a nightmare. This prohibits the lack of exposure to the very few scouts that there are and also puts off people wanting to pursue football as a career. Indians know that if they show promise, they can go on to earn a career playing cricket. And the same goes for sports like basketball in China. If you know it's very difficult to be scouted by a club, a university or a school and make very little wages playing that sport in your home country, then it begs the question of why you pursue that sport in the first place. In recent times in China, we have seen a significant increase in the funding pumped into football. We've seen the Chinese Super League and also the Indian Super League emerge. China as a nation now is significantly growing and the standard of living is getting much better. The Chinese Super League is now attracting players sometimes in their prime of their career due to the substantial wages that these players can earn. And given the short career that being a footballer is, sometimes you can't blame them. Players like Oscar, Hulk, Graziano Pella and Ramirez have all swapped European leagues for the Chinese Super League. And on top of that, India created the Indian Super League in 2013, which is now the fifth most watched sports league in the world, only behind the Bundesliga, the Premier League, La Liga and Serie A. But one thing is for certain that there's a large and growing fan base in these nations. Both of these nations have made significant steps towards improving their national sides and their participation in football. So, how long do you think it will be before we see India and China competing on the world stage for a World Cup? And will we see more of these players playing in European leagues at top clubs fighting it out in the Champions League? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And if you did like the video, if you'd be open-minded to drop a like, a subscribe, and until next time, I'll see you later.